Guys, today is a special day of my life. We just hit 500 subscribers. Well, pass 500 subs. And today, we're gonna do a top 10 video. And today's top 10 video is one I'm a big fan of. That's right, today's video is a top 10 Power Rangers video. And here are my top 10 favorite Power Rangers. And, and I'm a big fan of Power Rangers. I know how it started and how it was made. So, uh, <laughs> please spread my opinion. So, let's get started. Number 10 is Power Rangers Megaforce. Now, some of you might say, but Power Rangers Megaforce sucks, man. Even Legendary Battle. Look, that's just my opinion. Yes, I joined the Legendary Battle, and Brock is back. They shouldn't say that for the original Power Rangers Megaforce series. Speaking of which, I don't prefer this Power Rangers Megaforce series. <laughs> I only prefer Super Mega Force, because of course I'm watching Pirates of the Caribbean and One Piece. And the suits were 10 out of 10, and Orion is also cool. And yeah, Troy is cool too, and Gia is too. But there are some Rangers and Pirates of Mega Force that I don't like, which is Jake, Noah, and Emma. Yeah, it's just my opinion. I like Power Rangers Mega Force. The theme song was good and all, but they didn't need to shout their names out. The episodes were okay. And Robo Knight was cool, and Orion was good too. Now let's move on. Ninth goes to Power Rangers Samurai. No, it was not the first Power Rangers I've ever watched. I just put on the ninth place because it's cool. The fight scenes were amazing, and Jane with the fire, wow, really good. Trust me, Power Rangers Samurai is very good and very amazing in second place in the Neo Saban era. And it blew my mind when Jane had a sister er, named Lauren, or whatever her name is, in Power Rangers Super Samurai. It blew my mind. And I did not realize they had a TV special called Power Rangers Clash of the Red Rangers with only one RPM Red Ranger. I wish I could have the rest of the RPM Rangers, but I took what I, what I got. I wish I could have teamed up with Megaforce, but whatever. The episodes were great, the theme song was not good in my opinion, because again, they didn't even shut their names out. And yeah, that's all I'd say about Power Rangers Samurai. Now let's move on. Number 8 is Power Rangers Ninja Steel. I know it's overhated, but what else have to say? I love ninjas. Ninjas are really good. Good. I wish you could take with Ninja Storm, but whatever. I took what I can get. They even gave us a better legendary battle, and we saw Tommy Oliver one last time. The episodes were great, especially the season finales. We saw three Red Rangers, which is Brody, of course, he's the Red Ranger. Mick, who's the mentor of the team, and we saw Brody's dad as the Red Ranger. And it celebrated the, the 25th anniversary of Power Rangers. And like I said, they gave us like a, a better legendary battle. And the theme song was great. They didn't even shout their names out. Now, let's move on to number seven. Number 7 is Power Rangers Jungle Fury. If you didn't know, Power Rangers Jungle Fury had good anime references. The fight scenes were 10 out of 10. The Spirit Rangers were also 10 out of 10. Their armor was very cool. The suits were also cool. The Bat Ranger was my favorite because I love Batman. And the theme song was 10 out of 10, man. Trust me, they are really good. I love the theme song. I can listen to it all day and parody it all day as well. And Daishi was cool. I wish we could have saw more of him. And yeah, Daishi is cool. One of my favorite villains of all time. And he's a good Power Ranger villain. And he was very amazing. I wish we could see more of Daishi. The Rider Ranger was also cool. Even... Then the Purple Ranger, which I forgot what he is, maybe the Wolf Ranger, yeah, he was also cool too. Now let's move on. Number 6 is Power Rangers Dino Thunder. It was the best Power Rangers series of all time. And not just that, it was also the best Power Rangers series of Dino with Tommy Oliver as the Black Dino Thunder Ranger. There's also a video about it called Power Rangers Dino Thunder. It's not called Power Rangers Dino Thunder the video game, it's just called Power Rangers Dino Thunder. And Trent, the Dino Thunder White Ranger, had the best suit and the best helmet. And look at his helmet, man. Look at it. He was my favorite character of all time. He was 10 out of 10, man, the GOAT. The episodes were good. The theme song was okay. 
and a team up with Ninja Storm and Dino Thunder were good as were also good as well. And that's all I have to say. Now let's move on. Number five is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. It gave birth to all the Power Rangers. Jason and Tommy were my favorite characters of all time. But I'm, I'm sad he had to leave the show because he after got fired because of well, I don't know, I forgot what it was. Past Torch was also good as well. They made a movie called My Mother Power Rangers The Movie. There's even a TV special about it. And it celebrates the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers called My Mother Power Rangers Once and Always. The episodes were a classic. The themes that was a classic. Jason vs. Tommy was also a 10 out of 10. Rocky, Adam, and Aisha were also really good. And Tommy Oliver went through the Green Ranger to become the White Ranger. But rest in peace to Jason David Frank and Trini's actress. Now, let's move on. Number four is the first Power Rangers series I've ever watched is Power Rangers Dino Charge. If you want to watch a anime show, well, here it is. Power Rangers Dino Charge, because they have the best anime references of all time. Trust me, they have good villains, good characters, and everyone has a good character arc. And Lord Arcanon, Doom Wing, and Fury, and Snipe were my favorite. They were really good villains. And Tyler... And Chase, Riley, Ivan, and Zetterwing were also my favorite characters as well. And there was a good 10 Power Rangers team up, and and Animation Station was also a better season finale, but I feel like it was rushed. And they have good Megazord fight scenes, and they never lose one bit of a Megazord fight in their lives. The episodes were good, the theme song is amazing as hell, and... The season finale was also good, and but one more energy gem is my favorite season finale of all time. Now let's move on to my top three favorite Power Rangers series of all time. Here it is. This Power Rangers series is the most shortest Power Rangers series of all time. It's called Power Rangers Cosmic Fury, and it's only the third anniversary of Power Rangers and only had ten episodes. I binge watched that show, and it was very good. Zato. Now, now, the Zayf Ranger and the Cape was also really good. Amelia is now the Red Ranger, and, and well, Ion, Ollie, Javier, and Izzy stay in their usual colors. And it was also really good. Lord Zed and the Zed putties were also good as well. And it was very good. And yeah, I know it had 10 episodes, and it's also been the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers. And it was good, but they do have Cosmic Fury stories, and it was the first original Power Rangers series of all time. Very good. The suits were amazing as heck, and they were very good. I loved it. It was very phenomenal and fantastic. 30 years in the making. Very good. Now let's move on to number two. Number two is Power Rangers SPD. I love the police, and it takes place in 2025, which we're going to be in next year. And I'm so excited for its Once and Always series, or I'm not sure if it's in the movie, or maybe Once and Always special, but I'll take what I can get. The Power Rangers have good character arcs. The Shadow Ranger and the Omega Ranger are my favorite. They have good villains. They gave us the first Orange Ranger. And there are so many original Power Rangers. And there's, well, only two. I believe they did the Cat Ranger. Also pretty cool. And uh, yeah, they're all good. And the episodes were great. The theme song was good as well. And the helmet designs were also phenomenal. Now, let's move on to number one spot. And boy, I'm so excited to show you what my number one favorite Power Rangers series of all time is. Oh, I forgot something. Drum roll, please. That's right, guys. Power Rangers Ninja Storm is my number one favorite Power Rangers series. Let me reasons why I like Power Rangers Ninja Storm. One, it's a comedy and it makes me laugh all the time. Two, they have really good Power Rangers, Shane, Dustin, and Tori. They're really good characters and a, and a good trio of all time. And the Thunderstorm Rangers were my favorite. And the Green Star Ranger was also my favorite. There's also good villains in this show as well, but 
The only villain that I like to this Ninja Storm was Luthor. And there's also a good episode where Tori went to another dimension where the Rangers were evil but the villains were good guys. It was, it was, it was opposite world, for, in my opinion. And, uh, there was a good season finale and rest in peace to the Red Power Ranger. And that's why it's my favorite Power Ranger series of all time. It was, it's 10 out of 10, that's why it's my favorite of all time. So, yeah, those are my top 10 favorite Power Ranger series of all time. And number one was Power Rangers Ninja Storm. It, it was my favorite Power Ranger series of all time, and it will always be my favorite Power Ranger series. The theme song was also good, on my opinion as well. And I am so happy that I had 500 subscribers now. Let's see if we can reach 600 subscribers. So, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and thank you for 500 subscribers.